Thank you for watching our uh, weekly podcast. Uh, let me uh, just talk about three main things that uh, are of concern and to our state and that we're making some progress on. One is uh, an appropriation bill, the Energy and Water Appropriation Bill, which has now come out of the Appropriations Committee. It includes a significant increased funding at our two national laboratories, Los Alamos and Sandia, uh, for primarily for the stockpile uh, stewardship work that they do to maintain our nuclear arsenal. Uh, this is all part of the administration's effort to, uh, to get the necessary support to uh, go ahead and ratify the New START Treaty that they have negotiated with uh, Russia. Uh, so that's a, uh, a significant uh, step forward. Uh, the legislation also contains increased funding, uh, $10 million uh, for the Navajo Gallup uh, pipeline project, which is very important. It has funding for the, uh, uh, for the Eastern New Mexico rural water project as well, uh, and various other projects that are important to our state. So that's, uh, uh, I think all would recognize that that's good news. Uh, on the Senate floor, we are expecting here by the end of this week to begin debate on a energy bill. It's a very much a slim down bill from the legislation we were hoping to bring to the Senate floor. Uh, but uh, majority leader has determined that this is probably all we could get support to pass and it's not clear that we have the votes uh, even to pass this. But uh, it does do several things. It responds to the spill in the Gulf uh, increases the penalties on companies that violate regulations there and uh, restructures the Minerals Management Service so that we have a better ability to prevent any kinds of uh, explosions or spills like we've seen uh, in the Gulf. Uh, it also uh, uh, it contains the Homestar uh, uh, proposal which is a proposal to allow folks uh, some subsidy to assist them in, in uh, renovating their homes to make them more energy efficient. Uh, we think that would be a, a very good thing if we could get that done. There's also uh, uh, provisions in the bill to try to accelerate the transition of our transportation sector to more use of natural gas, particularly in truck fleets uh, and uh, long haul trucks. So that's, that's uh, uh, in the legislation as well. There's, there's provisions in there to encourage uh, more production and use of electric vehicles in the future as well. So uh, that's good. And then there's full uh, funding for the next five years for the Land and Water Conservation Fund. This is the fund uh, that uh, we've had on the books a long time. We generally don't fully fund it, but uh, it uh, allows the federal government and state uh, governments and, and local communities to acquire land that they believe needs to be protected and to uh, put in place the protections uh, for that for future generations. Uh, so that's very good. The final item I wanted to mention is the Tribal Law and Order Act. This is a bill that the president is signing uh, uh, this week to uh, uh, to give more authority to uh, tribes and more resources to tribes so that they can do a better job with law enforcement on our uh, Indian reservations. This is a uh, substantial concern. We, we don't have adequate law enforcement uh, either in prosecution, investigation, prosecution, uh, ability to detain people uh, uh, while they're uh, awaiting trial. All of that needs additional help, and this le legislation, this Tribal Law, Law and Order Act, will help us to do that. So we're, uh, we're busy here. We're still a week away from a, uh, uh, a scheduled uh, recess uh, later in August. Uh, we hope that uh, we can get some significant uh, work done before that happens. Thank you for watching. We appreciate your continued interest in what we're doing.